Hey there, Soulshines. It's Michelle here, coming to you late at night again. In fact, it was just 11.11. .11. How cool is that? Um, I wanted to take advantage of the time and give you guys some information. I was, I'm kind of blown away by some of the things that can happen in this world. Um, there is a woman. She is absolutely amazing. Her name is Donna Eden. She does energy medicine, which basically is making sure all of the systems, energetic systems in your body are working in great order. Um, she works a lot with meridians and chakras and strange flows and I don't even know the names of all of the different kind of energy systems that we have, just like we have a nervous system and a blood system and I guess it's called the vascular system and we have a muscular system, a skeletal system. We have all of these energy systems as well. And what's really cool is that I met her a few years ago, and at the presentation she talked about meridians, and there's actually scientific proof that meridians exist, that, that the more microscopic um, the ability to see small things becomes, the more they're finding in the body. And one of the things that they found was these little tiny string-like things that went literally right along the meridian paths. It was so cool. So um, I went to somebody who is a, um, a practitioner in the Donna Eden um, Energy Medicine. So she's a practitioner in Eden Medicine. Um, I had put out a request on Facebook for some assistance in... Um, I was actually looking for some homeopathics that would help me heal. And she offered um, the Eden medicine, and I realized this is the perfect time when my body is so out of whack with the healing to um, to go into this. And I had already somewhat familiar with it. And so she taught me a couple of things, some of it I already knew, and it was just an incredible experience. Um, Donna Eden teaches this thing which is called the hookup. If you Google Donna Eden and her energy medicine, you will find all kinds of information about it. Um, the hookup, people will put their their finger in their navel and then up here, and they kind of pull up a little bit and breathe, and then their energy hooks in. I've never understood this. I just don't get it because it didn't work for me. I was like, this is silly. I don't get this one. Like a lot of the things, I would kind of feel a change. Um, but this, this Lori Kay, she's so incredible, and she said, um, that for her, she had to put her hand below her belly button, and then put her hand up here, so one hand's below the belly button, one hand's up here, and that's when it finally, like, hooked up for her, and so she had me try it, and holy cow, I was like, oh my gosh, so that's why people do that. I felt a difference. It was so incredible. And then as she was testing me, my um, fight or flight reflexes have been on so high for so long. And um, she called it frozen. And I, I've noticed there are some of us that, like, I do a lot of things, but just there are certain, certain areas of my life that I haven't been able to shift. And so I can try to have a positive attitude and everything, and I really admire people that can choose happy. But sometimes we get stuck, and our energy is literally frozen, making it, you know, they say fight, flight, or freeze. Well, when you've been in fight or flight for a long time, it is frozen. Your energy is frozen. So sometimes it's really hard to choose a different way of being. So some of the really negative people in our lives, they are stuck in this fight or flight energy that's just running so high. And so I was stuck. Um, not that I'm negative, but it was, it's not uncommon to get frustrated, to want to hide from things. Um, there's circumstances in my life that are pretty crazy, and so I, my automatic response would go into this, like, I just shut down, I don't want to deal with it, I don't want to hide, kind of want to run away. So I was in the flight, and the flight and freeze tends to be my more common reaction. 
The other thing is, is that, as I said in my last video, I had to give my body permission to feel safe before it would calm down. When she mentioned the triple warmer, which is the fight or flight energy, when she mentioned that, it was just like this light bulb went on in my head. I was like, oh, that's why I've been so grumpy since my, um, since my thing, like since the MRI. It's because that MRI, like, put my triple warmer energy into overdrive. Like, it, my fight or flight was so on, um, that... I became super snappy and grumpy with people it, because it was just like on more than it typically was so um, it was pretty incredible she did a lot of different techniques and I came away feeling it was almost just a real sense of relaxation because I don't know that I had ever I can't I can't remember I know I felt that kind of relaxation before where it's just like seriously relaxed but I can't remember when <laughs> um, it was incredible and it was amazing and she gave me some tools to use to help keep my fight or flight in um, the, like the positive flow so that it's flowing properly and all that my energy is flowing properly and some techniques to use to help with the healing in my knee my impression <clears throat> was that I'll be going back to her two more times. One time right after surgery because, as she put it, the body doesn't know that the surgery is there to help them. All the body knows is it got stabbed with a knife. And so when I do have surgery, I will go back to her to help my get my body out of that shock state so that it can heal, so that the energies are flowing properly. And then the other impression was that when I get off of the crutches, that's when I need to go back again. And I think that's part of, if our bodies are running in what's called homolateral, where the energy is going straight down and not crossing over like it's supposed to, um, it has a really hard time healing. Things just aren't working right in our lives. Um, our energies are meant to cross and um, when you're doing something like on crutches, you're not doing those, um, that, you don't have that ability to do the right-left crossing that your body does. If you notice when a person watches, um, walks naturally or a baby crawl, um, when the left foot comes forward, the right arm comes forward. When the right foot comes forward, the left arm comes for, forward. This is like the natural way we're supposed to because we're supposed to have that crossing where the top part of our body does one thing and the other part is like that opposite. Um, so we're going to work on that after I'm off to crutches. So I'm really excited about it. But I wanted to tell you guys about that because sometimes we get frustrated when we're doing healing or we're trying to be positive because we just are feeling like nothing's working, like we're stuck. And it's because our energy is stuck. And some, as much as I love working with mindset and um, energy and the emotions, I just love that part. Sometimes it's a reminder. you got to work with your body too. And you got to keep the body energies flowing properly. And so I'm really excited about that. Um, there are some techniques that I'm going to be using to try and keep my energy. She told me to go like this and do crisscrosses around, figure eights around my eye to help keep that energy flowing. I have some figure eights to do over my knee. Um, I guess it's some, ener some energies to um, test how my fight or flight is and, and I have two techniques that I can use to help reset that energy and um, she had a couple other techniques that she's um, said I could do at home, kind of homework type of a thing to keep my energy going. And it's been really fun because every once in a while I can tell that I'm, like, just certain things that tend to upset me happen. And But now I know how to flip my energy back into the right direction and, and moving properly. And it's been really, really nice. My pain level dropped incredibly, and 
for the first time since the MRI, I was able to sleep well. So it was pretty amazing, pretty fantastic. And I wanted to share that with you. It's something to consider, especially if you're having struggles with some area of your life. Um, there, you know, look into it. What can you do for your body to help keep your body working the way that it's supposed to, the energy flowing the way they're supposed to? Um, her name is Donna Eden, and she is like the queen of energy medicine. She is the founding, like the grandmother of energy medicine. Um, she was very, very sick and um, has always seen energy, and so she was able to use her gifts to heal her body and then help other people heal, and it's incredible. So remember, everybody, to let your light shine big, bright, light, and beautiful, and I will see you guys next time.